Our family operation, Amistad Ranches, began in about the 1870s when my grandfather came from Holland and his assignment when he came to the Sacramento River Delta, which is where we are today, uh, was to build levees, to reclaim uh, land from the Inland Sea, as it was called then, which he did. Uh, he, he reclaimed levees and started farming about 5,000 acres. And over the years, that uh, increased a little, decreased uh, quite a bit at one point. And uh, today, my brother and I farm about 2,500 acres. Uh, some of it uh, was farmed by my great-grandfather in the 1870s. Um, we grow pears, uh, wine grapes, alfalfa, wheat, corn, safflower, and tomatoes. Um, we, um, we grow the wine grapes uh, for Behringer. Um, the uh, corn is all uh, Roundup ready. Alfalfa, next field we plant will probably be uh, biotech seeds Roundup ready as well. Um, we're located uh, in the Sacramento River Delta area, about 20 minutes south of Sacramento. It's an area that has the Sacramento River running through it. Um, we have uh, some uh, peat soils, but primarily uh, mineral soils laid down by, um, by the river overflow and, um, and uh, de deposition. We plant uh, all of our corn, 100% of our corn is biotech seeds. Um, because we haven't been able to get any wheat uh, uh, into a biotech, uh, 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 biotech uh, kind of a system, um, uh, we don't have any wheat. Uh, but the only thing that we're planting right now is 100% is of our corn is biotech seeds. If bio seeds were not available, we would have to switch back to what I would call our conventional uh, method of, of uh, planting crops. Uh, and again, I'll go back to the corn example. Um, we would have to uh, do tillage in the fall, which we don't do now with biotech. And we'd have to prepare a, a, a very fine seed bed in the spring. We'd have to apply chemicals for, for weed control um, before we planted. And all that does is slows everything down. And in, in a lot of cases, in this particular area, we're always planting right up against the, uh, the, the, the time limits. And so, if we have to slow down, we won't plant as much. Uh, we will we will lose crops, uh, and and it'll cost us a lot more to uh, do what we're doing. Biotech seed or biotechnology, um, for me, is in its infancy. Um, and at the, at the, when we started, we felt that we were losing a little bit of production by going to a Roundup Ready corn seed, and and we were, but we were getting some other advantages in l lower costs and um, uh, being able to plant uh, more quickly and those kinds of things. But uh, today, the, uh, the, the seed that we plant in corn is probably better than the conventional uh, non-biotech seed. Um, and, and the way I see biotechnology is we're just at the beginning of it. Um, and if, 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 we can, if we can concentrate on the positives, the benefits, we can produce more per acre. We just have to understand what the negatives are and, and, and deal with the public perceptions in, in a manner that allows us to use this new technology uh, to its fullest extent. I, I believe that uh, we're going to be able to produce a lot more everywhere in the world if, if we can adopt this technology and, and uh, develop it to its fullest.